guys, what's up? I hope you had a really good 4th of July. I know I had a good time. I got to go watch fireworks on the beach with my boyfriend and it was just a really spectacular special time for me. Last night I received a really great question from Caleb and I'm going to be reading his question and going over some solutions. Caleb asked me, are there art galleries or shows that allow people to show their work with the intent of not selling their art? Now I'm going to be taking Caleb's question and kind of transforming it into a whole other conversation. If you're looking to display your work at shows or kind of fun events and things like that, the best piece of advice I could give to you if you're looking for that is to do a very thorough Google search. You'd be surprised what you can find on your city's website. Sometimes they actually list some of those things. And also, if you're having trouble, go and find an art teacher because art teachers have lots of connections and they tend to know about this stuff a lot. I would also snoop around and look for bulletin boards at schools because they are likely to list kind of events that are going on for art and I would just be very um, interested in that. And the more you dig for something, the more you're gonna find. It's really interesting. The more that you focus on something in your life the more that it tends to come to you. Now to specifically answer your question, I would not approach galleries because galleries make their living off of selling artists work. So they're not going to really want to have artists work in there that they're not selling. They're not going to be able to help their business. The places that you are going to want to look though are schools, libraries, and small businesses. You'd actually be helping people out if you're willing to display your art for free, but to have business cards so people will be able to contact you and commission you for other projects. It's really a win-win situation for both parties involved. I know this is a really intimidating thing to do, to approach, but that's what I'm going to be getting into in this video right here. The first thing you're going to want to do if you are interested in approaching businesses in general or uh, showcasing your art places you are going to want to tell everybody you know that this is something that you're interested in doing because you'd be surprised the connections that other people have. I mean, our world is just weaved in and out and people are all connected to each other and I guarantee you, you do know somebody that knows another person that's looking for art somewhere and I'm telling you, it, you need to throw it out there. The best people to ask are actually older people. So grandparents, friends of grandparents, they are, tend to be a lot more sweet and wanting to help people uh, starting their careers. So if you ask around, and especially the older crowd, they're going to have more connections and they're going to be more willing to help you. So that's a place that I would definitely start. Make sure the people you are asking know what your artwork looks like. So if you're going to announce that on Facebook, have a picture of your artwork, really high quality. Now the second thing you're going to want to do is do your own homework. So hunt for locations where you think it would be best to display your artwork. For the most part, you're not going to want to go to a franchise and try to put your art in the don't even ask to put it there because they have their own designers and everything is done by them. So don't even go there. <laughs> You're going to want to approach more small businesses, libraries, schools, that kind of stuff. When you're going to these places, think about you're kind of undercover. There's some things that you're going to be looking for specifically, and uh, I mean, you don't want to come off weird, like don't wear a hood and be like, nah. you know what, for this instance, I'm actually going to use that as a demo. So let's pretend that I'm trying to go, I, I have pictures of owls, okay? Let's just hypothetically, I have lots of pictures of owls and I am trying to look for coffee shops that would like to be able to have work like that in their shop. I would go pay for a cup of coffee, be nice to whoever is at the register, and really look at the surroundings. If the place doesn't have the color scheme of your artwork, it's not going to work. Don't even go any further, find another location. This part tends to be kind of easier for me because I have a background in interior design. I really, I, when I walk into a space, I am just very affected by it and I would be able to tell right away if I wanted to be able to put my art there or not. You're also going to want to look at the wall space. Is there space for your art? What does it look like? How would it look? Does it need a frame? These are all things that you need to keep in mind. Um, but if you're not good with that kind of stuff, I would definitely bring a friend around that is really into decorating because they'll be able to kind of help you pinpoint things out. If the store doesn't have the feel that I'm looking for, if I notice that the people working behind the register have a bad attitude, I don't want my art in that store. 
because it doesn't have a good vibe. So it's also good to kind of read up on Yelp reviews of the place and hopefully you can find places that have a really good vibe, a good reputation, and something that's really going to match who you are and what your work represents. Also, you don't want to go to a place that kind of has mean workers <laughs> because if you are trying to, you know, have that conversation saying, hey, I'd like to display my art here, they're probably going to be very rude to you and you don't want to deal with that. So find places that are, you know, they do exist. Happy, upbeat people. <laughs> so after you're done snooping around the place, finding a location that you're really interested in, it's really intimidating to think about us going into the store and it actually almost makes us not even want to go there in the first place. If I'm thinking about my coffee shop, I'm like, oh my god, I don't even want to do that. Never mind, uh, I'm just going to not, yeah do it at all. Uh, so what I would recommend, instead of thinking about yourself going into the store, think about the coolest person. How would that person be able to go into that store and have the best interaction with the store owner and they're just like, yes, we want your art up there. So take yourself out of the scenario and just imagine Angelina Jolie is going in and saying, hey, I have these owl paintings and I want them in your store. Is there some way we can work things out? Just put somebody else in your shoes and uh, kind of learn from how they would be able to do that interaction. I just want you to think about the best possible outcome and how that would happen. Next what you're going to do, because I'm sure you're going to be nervous like we all are, you're going to pick a wingman or wingwoman to go with you while you go into the store or coffee shop, wherever, and approach them. It's going to be really important for you to pick a buddy that goes along with you that emulates the atmosphere of the store. So if they tend to be a very bubbly kind of store, like they have really good enthusiasm, bring along a friend that has that certain personality. If they're more like uptight, professional, like suave, bring somebody around that, bring your friend that has that kind of attitude. You're going to be really nervous, but if you have your friend there that's also going to help anchor you, it's going to be the best way to really make a good impression. And be sure, whatever you do, don't bring that pushy friend. Don't bring that person that just tries to dominate the conversation too much because they're going to end up making the conversation go really sour. When you go into the store, what you're going to do is you're going to look the part. You, you know, you're not going to be overly dressed, but you're not going to be underdressed underdressed you don't go in there naked <laughs> definitely have a confidence when you go into that store you need to be able to carry yourself in a way that it's not like hi I have art have business cards ready and also you're going to want to have your artwork on your phone or in the car so don't bring it with you because that comes off kind of pushy like hey you gotta put my art up. So to go off my scenario, I'm ready to approach the coffee shop. I have the right place in my head. I'm just, you know, thinking good thoughts, thinking happy thoughts. I'm awesome. I'm gonna be able to do this and this is gonna work out for me. And I'm just thinking, you know, really good things, not, oh my gosh. And you're gonna walk up and make a good conversation with whoever's working there. Mention in the conversation that you are an artist and you really love this space and that you think that this could be a really good place to display your art. And you're gonna politely ask if you can speak with the manager or the store owner. Say, hey, you know, the color scheme really works with my picture and uh, if you wanna see it, I have it on my phone right here or I have it in the car, I could go get it really quick. And the person will most likely be more than happy to work with you. They they might be having a bad day, so really try to get good vibes from people. Try to feel what's going on and work accordingly with it. They might just say no, and if they do say no, I mean, that's just life. You're going to find somebody that's interested in working with you. That is what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video a lot. I want you to come visit my Tumblr page because I started posting a lot more on it and I'm really excited about the new look and vibe that I got going on over there. I think it would be a lot of fun. So you go check that out. The link's in the description. I love you guys so much and stick around because I'm going to be posting another video for you guys this week. You guys are so awesome and I love the support that I always get from you. So. I love you guys so much. Take care.